Hey, hi guys. So let's look at this next question from CAT 2021 slot one. Okay. And this question is from algebra modulus concept, a bit tricky one actually. Okay. But uh, this kind of questions we have covered in the class that uh, uh, we solve it by for making a perfect square and all. Okay. So let's uh, look at this guys, how to, how to solve this. So now this is, we need to solve by three distinct real roots. Okay. So the, this equation needs three distinct real roots, right? So in the first point, I need to analyze key what, what they're saying is actually, okay. For example, if I just see this here, so if I just uh, uh, blindly write like x square minus 4x minus 13, okay. So x square minus 4x minus 13 uh, will be equal to what? So obviously I know that when mod x is equal to k, so x is equal to plus k or x is equal to minus k. Hey na? So when this is equal to plus r, so in one case it is plus r and in the other case it is minus r. So x square minus 4x minus 13 is equal to minus r, right? So in the first, first uh, uh, you can think here that ki if it's a quadratic equation, then the obviously we'll have two roots, hey na? so two roots here and two roots here, then it will make like four roots actually. Hey na? Total we will have four roots, but that's not the question. What is the question here? We need to have only three distinct real roots. Okay, then I can think that, okay, then it depends on discriminant because I know that if discriminant is positive, I'll have two roots, hey na? And if discriminant is, is, is equal to zero, I'll have only one root. Okay, that means for some value of R, for some value of R, we'll have, for some value of R, we'll have only one root that I need to find here. Okay, and for some value of R, I'll have two root that means duly positive. So it's a normal quality equation, so two roots here. So that's that I need to find here. Okay, so now let's start this. So it's a quality equation. Uh, many people just will like a square, in both on both these sides okay don't do that don't, don't solve by that approach okay because it's very lengthy it becomes a power 4 equation then you need to solve it ho jayega but it's very lengthy okay so what you need to do here is uh, just uh, follow the uh, follow the funda of uh, this uh, completing the square okay so for example we have this mod x square minus 4x minus 13 is equal to r now what you can do with this mod x square minus 4x minus 13 is i want to uh, make it in, into a form of perfect, perfect square that means it it suits with the form of or it uh, actually matches with the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square that is a minus b whole square you know so you can see that this a is equal to x so a is equal to x i'm searching for b here what is b now so this 2 is 2 i can just write down no? this 2 is 2 same so this 4x is what it is 2 into 2x no this 2 and this 2 are same okay and this a and x are well, basically a value is x that means b value comes out to be 2 okay so a equal to x and b equal to 2 that means this mod of a minus b whole square becomes what it becomes here as mod of x minus 2 whole square okay now what is x minus 2 whole square so if i solve it so i'll be getting x minus 2 whole square as x square plus uh, sorry x square minus 4x x square minus 4x uh, plus 4 but we have a minus 13 here. So to bring minus 13, I need to subtract 17. So x minus 2 ka whole square, uh, minus 17 is the case here, minus 17, okay. So minus 17 and this is equal to r. Now that's perfectly fine, okay. So when I put, uh, now I can just uh, use this funda, okay. So I just uh, remove this mod here. So in one case, I'll be getting x minus 2 whole square, minus 17 is equal to plus r, hey na? and in the other case, I'll be getting x minus 2, whole square minus 17 equal to minus r then x minus 2 whole is square will be equal to r plus 17 and here x minus 2 whole square will be equal to 17 minus r now what i can think here is just look at the options also okay and if you do even if you don't have options you can directly say that obviously for r r equal to 17 because i need to make in one equation, I need only one root. So when, when I'll have only one root, when this, this, this is the equation here, x minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So x if, if I put r equal to 17, okay, so in that case, x minus 2 whole square equal to 0, and we'll have only one root. What is that one root? That will be x equal to 2. And here, same way, if I put r equal to 17, so x minus 2 whole square is equal to what? It is equal to 17 plus 17, 34, no? Okay, so 17 plus 17, 34, correct. That means, uh, 
obviously x minus 2 whole square is 34 that means we'll be getting two distinct roots here and after solving so two roots here and one root here total with three roots right so that's the funda okay so i need to make one zero so that r will be equal to 17 so r 17 is the answer okay that's the answer okay so a good one a nice question in cat 2021 okay slot one so you need to have all this concept clear before you can solve such questions okay i, I hope you got it yeah thank you